say I go. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah, coming back for us. Yeah, come on. You're coming back for us. You are good. Don't ever let us lose sight of you. Hallelujah. Come on. Yes, Lord. Come on. Keep us right in your presence and in your hand, God. You're forever sovereign. 
victory again? Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, let's get ready for the word. Hallelujah. And right here, we got Isaiah, hallelujah, 40 and 30. And right here it says, uh, but they that wait, can you say they that wait? Yeah. They that wait. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. It doesn't say they shall waste their strength. It says oh. they shall renew their strength. Because God knows there's some tired people out here. So it says they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not Thank Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you right now for the word that you have placed on my heart right now in the name of Jesus for your people. Lord, we ask you to have your way right now and let your will be done. Set the atmosphere of heart of worship right here. Set the atmosphere here on Main Street right now in the name of Jesus. Set the atmosphere over the city of Piqua right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way. Let your will be done. Remove me out of the way. Move me, Lord, and let your will be done. Take over take over right now in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Amen hallelujah again they that wait upon the Lord hallelujah shall renew their strength uh, I want to know who you waiting on Okay. hallelujah I guess that's a question who are you waiting on hallelujah if you are not waiting you know right here it says oh, upon the Lord if you're not waiting on the Lord I'm sorry but you will not have no renewed strength you will be exhausted Anxious, worried, all kinds of things will take place uh, if you're not waiting on the Lord. A lot of us wait on all kinds of things. You ever be sitting in your favorite restaurant's drive through hallelujah, and you're just waiting because you want to get your order in, but you get so anxious and agitated and irritated because you can't get that burger. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you just can't get it's not coming when you want it to come. And, and then you think the car in front of you is done ordering and you're ready to blow your horn. Get out the way. You can order like 10 burgers. Right? Come on. It's not they that wait on McDonald's to get their Big Mac and renew their strength. It's they that wait on the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. How many of you tonight have had a hard time this week? Waiting on the Lord. Amen. Jesus. Come on now. If we can keep it real. Yeah. How many of you this week have had a hard time waiting on God to show up? Come on. It might be something that you that just hits your mind from last year. You're like, Lord, I'm still waiting. Where are you? Come on. Lord, what's going on? They that wait on the Lord. I know your word says, Lord, I'm going to renew my strength and all I got to do is wait on you. But Lord, I've been waiting for a year. Matter of fact, you told me to wait last week and here we are this week. Lord, where are you? Do you ever ask yourself that? Have you asked yourself that this week? Has anything this week made you angry? Come, just let me see your hand. I, come on, this week. No, I'm just, be real. This week made you angry. Yeah. Yeah. Has anything this week got you hurting? Hmm. Come on. Hmm. Has anything this week went wrong for you that you're like, this can't be. What is going on? Well, I'm here to tell you, you know, as a pastor, you know, I, I like to just keep it real. <laughs> and if there's no pastors or ministers out there that ain't keeping it real with you, I think you might be around the wrong one. On. Hallelujah. I, I, don't, I think you need to move. Hallelujah. Yes. Because you need to be around some people that's going to keep it real. Now, oh, Jesus is so glorious and great, and this life is good. Oh, sometimes. Yeah. That's keeping it real. Amen. Sometimes it's good. But I knew from the day I said, yes, I was going to have to carry a cross. Hmm. This, I remember when God was telling me, or before he was telling me I was going to be ordained and be a pastor, I was sitting out there like you guys are looking up here, and I was like, oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle that. But it's, it's not just getting up here and doing this and reading the scripture, it's out there. Amen. Mm -hmm. it, it's the things that go on out there, and, and I'm here to tell you this week, you know, I, I know that 
Royalty tribe is not in this alone. A heart of worship is in it with royalty tribe. And, Come on. and royalty tribe is in it with other people. We are the body. Come on. We are the, we are the body of Christ. And, and I'm here to ask heart of worship, this part of the body, myself. I put myself on front street. I'm here to ask you guys for forgiveness. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm just saying. Because not only is the heart watching, the heart of worship or Rory tribe watching, lots of people are watching. And they think that when you get into this position, oh, you better be good. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, brother, you a singer. I better not hear you singing R. Kelly. Because <laughs> I'm just going to shun you. He ain't saying nothing about Jesus. No, but, but just but for real, but how do I know he's not singing that to get what God has for him through it. Okay, yeah. God works in mysterious ways, and I'm telling you, this week I got a butt whooping. I got a butt whooping after Sunday. And I, and I ask you guys for forgiveness because even though I'm the hand, if the hand's not working right, the arm will mess up. Okay. Come on. Or if the hand's not working right, the fingers will mess up. I, I, I did a mess up this week. Uh -huh. That's why I ask how many of you have been angry. So through your anger, have you sinned this week? Yeah. Have you said some things you probably shouldn't have said? Yeah. See, that I'll be the first to put my hand up. See, I, I went through a thing, hallelujah, where I wasn't waiting on the Lord. I think all I got to do is probably move this. It might come back on. Yeah. It, there it is. Yeah. And so, well, <laughs> here we go, hallelujah. But I didn't wait on the Lord, if you will. I had a hard time waiting on the Lord. I knew that God had it all under control. Hallelujah. I knew that uh, the word just lets us know to allow God to fight our battles, right? He, he says, just let give, give, give God the battle. Let God fight your battle. See, but I, it's easy to say that, but hard to do. Amen. It's easy to say that, but again, it's hard to do. Hallelujah. It, it, it's easy to say they that wait on the Lord, hallelujah, shall renew their strength. But when it comes to waiting on the Lord, we're just waiting there. And it's just taking too long. Sometimes it just takes too long. Hallelujah. But I, I said some things I shouldn't have said. I, I had a, a young man. He was uh, kind of just, you know, I'm just keep real getting on my nerves. <laughs> when it came to my daughter, I saw him push her. And I don't know what she did before that, but I just saw that. And then I saw some other things. I won't get too deep, but I saw some other things take place. And, and then the cops showed up, and, and I was calm. I, I, you know, a soft answer turns away wrath. So I, I walked up to them, and I'm, what's going on? Are you all right? I just, hey, what, what, what? No, I don't nobody need to hear you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Lord, I, it was soft. What happened? <laughs> so it just went crazy. Then the cops come, and, and I'm standing there, and I'm just getting frustrated. Uh, he even threw some logs onto the fire, hallelujah, and I'm just getting ready to explode. So now I'm like, hey, if you don't go in the house, they're going to have to take me. Hmm. And, and, I, and I let them know that it's hard, you know, for a man I don't know about any of the men here, but it's hard for a man to control himself when it comes to his family. Amen. Just saying. Amen. It's for women too. Uh, yeah, my wife is. Woo, woo. Just saying. But it's hard sometimes for men to control themselves when it comes to their families and when you're doing wrong to their families. And so I'm trying to calm down. I go to sleep and I'm trying to just. Let it all go, you know, go over, and then I get to a, a place of business, and I go in to handle my business. I don't see him, and I and I usually see him here, so I'm like, okay, he's not here, so that's good, okay. And so I, I get ready to leave. I don't see him, and I'm like, that's good. And but when I get in my car and get ready to pull off, there he is. So I roll down my window, and shouldn't have rolled down my window. I'm, I'm just, I didn't, I wasn't waiting on the Lord, y'all. It, it's the second day. He, this is day two. You should. Where are you, Lord? I wasn't waiting, and and I don't know. How, I had some strength, but it was the strength of the flesh. Now that's what I had. Amen. So and, and Satan by this time was like, "Yeah, come on, man. Let's let's put some coals on the fire too." Uh, I got a bucket of gasoline. Let me throw it on there. And so, boom! 
boom, boom. I'm like, hey, I should run your beep, beep, beep over. <laughs> Can I keep it real? I don't know if you guys talk like that. I usually don't, but it happened. And then he said a few choice words. And then I said, no, it's not over. I pulled around and I jumped out. I said, let's go. Let's go. I didn't say, let's go, though. Well, I said some stuff. I said some stuff that, as a you know, a Christian, we, we shouldn't say. We, we should wait on the Lord. But I wasn't waiting. And, and I'm like, okay. And, 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 it, and I'm standing there. I'm like, Lord, get him out the car. Come on. <laughs> So I'm like, come on, come on. And but God's not getting him out of the car, so I wasn't waiting again. So I go over there to get the car door open because I'm angry. And the, the young lady in the car locks the doors. And that made me even madder because I'm looking at him and I go, there's a lady in the car, but you're my daughter's fiance. Or whatever. So... I said, Lord, why am I going through this? And, and I had my mother pray for me. And she, she prayed and I said, I gotta get rid of this spirit. I'm here to tell you saints that it's all right to be angry sometimes. I don't know about you guys, but it, it's all right to be angry. Come on, but I'm here to tell you that they that wait on the Lord and I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting right now, but God gave me that spanking through the week, if you will. And, he, and you know, sometimes Box got to pick you up and bam, get you and say, you better wait. How many of you know if you don't humble yourself, you can be humble? Be humble. Come, on, yeah. Come on, you'll be humble. And yeah. I say that to say that I am humble. God got me and he said, bam, you're going to sit down and this is what you're going to do. And this is what he had me do. I'm writing. And it was all for this. And then Pastor Larry reaches out and he says, I need you to come share the word. And then I'm like, Lord, does he see my Facebook post and everything I went through? Does it, if, you, if you looked at it, you saw this guy cussing and going crazy. And I said, does he know what I just went through and I'm still allowed to share the word? He said, yes, I, I, I'll use you. You're, you're my vessel. Amen. Amen. You're my vessel. You are my vessel. He said, Lord, this, this man's trying to attack my character. I know I messed up, but... He said, you're my vessel. And I'm reminded of some words uh, by a, a, a woman, a powerful woman, Prophetess Adele Gray. Uh, I, I might mess it up. But she, she said, uh, the people that hate you can influence others to hate you. But the good news is they can't stop God's blessing. So I'm, I'm here to tell you that keep on waiting on the Lord. Keep on waiting. Let them hate because they're going to hate. Let them go tell Johnny and Sheila about your mess up. Let them go tell Susan and Anthony about how you messed up and how you've been a mess up for years. But they can't stop the blessing of God coming to you. Your blessing is coming. Hallelujah. Your blessing is coming. Hallelujah. There's nothing no one can do. Nothing no one can say to stop the blessing of the Lord. Waiting. Hallelujah. And watch your strength. Hallelujah. Be renewed. Yes, Lord, which leads me to the title of, uh, oh, that's, that's the wrong title, but anyway, I forgot to put it there. But which leads me to the title of the sermon. Wait on the, uh, God is always on time. We just can't wait. Amen. Do you agree with me? God is always on time. We just can't Wait, that, that title was from last Sunday. I got everything else here, but I forgot to put the title. Hallelujah. But it's a good thing that I'm still waiting on the Lord. He might throw it up there. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. They that wait on the Lord. Are you, do you feel like you don't got no strength this morning, today? Do you feel like you just you need a, a renewing of your mind, a renewing of your heart? I'm telling you, honey, just keep waiting. Keep waiting on God. Hallelujah. Watch him renew. Watch him repair. Watch him bring back yeah. everything that was. Come on. Wow. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Watch him bring back everything that formerly was. Just wait on him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He'll bring it back to its original condition. Mm. 
Hallelujah. He'll bring you back to your original condition. God wants to renew, revive. He wants to renew and revive. How many of you need a revival? Not, not somewhere, but right here. How many of you need a revival right here? Not, you don't need to go nowhere. You just need one to take place within you. Hallelujah. So we can, we can go to a lot of revivals, but until you are revived yourself, the revival doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that nine times out of ten, we hesitate or we refuse to let God have his way. Amen. And why do we do this? I mean, why are you saying this, Pastor? I'm saying it because we have things like pride, worry, and anger that get in the way. And then, Hallelujah. And if we check out Proverbs 16 and 18, Hallelujah, it says pride goes before the fall, destruction, and a haughty heart, and, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Hallelujah. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before the fall. Hallelujah. I believe pride got in the way that day too. I don't know what you've been through, but I don't know if pride got in the way of you this week, but watch out. Maybe God had me go through so I could let you know there's a hole over there. Come on. God let me go through so I could get over here and say, heart of worship and people of God, there's a hole over there on that side. Don't go there. Hallelujah. Pride goes before destruction. You got pride tonight. Do you struggle with that? I struggle with it. Because, you know, again, it's hard for a man to probably control himself when it comes to his family. Why is it? Because I'm the man. <laughs> That's why. I'm the man. This is my wife and my kids, my grandkids, and my family. Who do you think you are? Well, I'm, well this is my daughter. Well, you just entered the family. I'm, I'm serious. That's how it gets sometimes. But thank God. Can somebody say, thank God, Lord, for yanking me back before I fell into the hole? Because I had to let him know. I said, I thank God that it didn't no further than it did. I thank God it was only my words. Hallelujah. But if we don't continue to keep God within our hearts, everything that we fill our hearts or allow Satan to fill our hearts with comes from here. Come on now. Hallelujah. I thank God that he said, uh, you, you, you're about to knock yourself out. It says it. Pride goes before destruction. I, was, uh, I mean, look at him right there on the cliff. He takes a couple more steps. It's over. Come on. I love this. And our Holy Spirit before the fall. He probably sitting there thinking, man, I can jump that. <laughs> Go and jump if you want to. <laughs> wait on the Lord. <laughs> like, you see this? I need to wait on God right here. Because <laughs> I don't even have the strength to get there. <laughs> Hallelujah. To get where I need to. I can't even see through that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. It is all right to admit when you are wrong. But pride, but pride starts and it starts to build up and <laughs> you, you, you was wrong, Pastor. No, I wasn't. I'm the man. <laughs> I'm the pastor of this church. <laughs> no, seriously. That's, that's how it works sometimes. Yeah. Come on. We we as pastors, ministers, we don't, some of us don't never think we're wrong. No, uh, I don't know if, if you guys are one of us, but some of us don't never think we are wrong. And then there's people out there that think we are always wrong. But again, I want you to remember. Come on, I want you to remember. Let them hate. Let them influence other people to hate. Because the blessing is coming. The blessing is coming. Let them hate on that blessing. I'm telling you, as soon as you get, and, 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 and remember this, woo, remember this, when you get your blessing, share it with the hater. When you get your blessing, share it with the hater. Share it with the hater. If you guys got that, when you get ready to share it, you're not going to have enough room in here. Hallelujah. When you get the blessing, share it with the hater. Hallelujah. Hmm. God is saying, church, it's, it's all right to swallow the pride. Mm. Amen. 
And, and if you think about it, just I want you to just think a little bit. And we're having some fun here in Rivers. I hope you're receiving the word, but it's all right to, hallelujah, swallow your pride. Yeah. Amen. I don't know about you, but I don't know no one in the past, in the present, or in the future, or that will be in the future, that will choke to death from swallowing their pride. <laughs> swallow it. Let it go. Let go, hallelujah, and let God. It is easy to say, but hard to do. Why else is it hard for us to wait, Pastor? Well, I'm telling you, another thing that makes it hard for us to wait is worry. Any of you worried this week? Amen. Been worried about something? Well, let's check out Matthew 6, 26 through 7, 27. It says, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet, your heavenly father, can you say your, my heavenly father? Make a person. My heavenly father feeds them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you not much more valuable than they? Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? Uh, nope. hmm. Come, on. Come on, think about that. Can a single hour be added to your life by worrying? Worrying equals a waste of time. Amen. But God is always on time. Amen. Come on, worrying equals a waste of time, but God is always on time. When you begin to worry, people of God, it's just like you're doing this. You're just pacing. You're just pacing. God needs you to get to the goal. Hallelujah, but you're just pacing. God has a reward for you, but you're just pacing. You are wasting time. You think you have a lot of time on your hands, but you're not doing nothing but wasting it, being worried when you could be moving forward in the things of God when you can be moving forward in the ways of God but when Satan creeps in or when that person or that thing or that job uh, gets on your nerves or whatever this is all oh, I just Ooh, Lord, hallelujah, you, you better get them, God well, no, I need to get you and let's go this way I got a blessing for you but worrying will keep you from that blessing it won't add a single hour hallelujah to your life I'm here to tell you it might take from you Ooh, come on, that's true. it just might take from you it will take from you it will, and that Satan's plan is just ripped from them spiritually and not only will it take from you spiritually it will cause some physical damage as well yeah. mm -hmm. come on have you been worrying this week God says people there's, there's no time to worry you don't have a re I know you feel like you have a reason, reason to worry, but if you just realize and recognize that I am always on what? I am always on time. Maybe you wouldn't be worried. Hallelujah. Worrying doesn't change a thing. Hallelujah. It doesn't change a thing, but I know the way maker. Amen. But I know the miracle worker. Yeah. And worrying does not make a way. And it sure isn't going to bring up a miracle for me. Mm. Hallelujah. In fact, I'm going to have to probably ask God for a miracle while I'm probably going through a heart attack from worrying. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just come on. Yeah. Let's keep it real. In fact, I'm going to have to ask God to help me because now they want to put me on an anxiety medication because I'm worrying too much. Come Lord, I need a miracle. Bring me back. Renew me right now because I don't want to go through this when you shouldn't have been worrying. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God is a way maker. Worrying steals your joy, but God came to give you joy. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew 6, 26. Hmm. Is that what it is? Am I in Matthew? I didn't pull it up. I already got Matthew 6, 26. I'm moving fast. Hallelujah. So I already did that, but worrying Keeps you busy again, doing nothing. I just want you to think about the birds here. It says, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap. They don't sow or reap. What happens when you sow the seed or accept the seed of work? Mm. Yeah. 
It gets planted in you. Yes. And if you let it, Satan will come on around and water it. And then if you just let the hater get to you, uh, then they'll shed some light on it. And there it goes, this big tree of worrying. And now you're reaping everything you just sown. And I don't even want a piece of fruit from that tree. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Worrying. You are more valuable than the birds. Yes. You are more valuable than the trees. In fact, I, I'm reminded of Adam and how God placed him in the garden and said, just name everything. You are more valuable. Why won't God take care of you? I wish that would have hit my mind when I was out saying and doing what I was doing uh, Monday. Yeah, that's what it, yeah, Monday. Like Aaron, you're more valuable than this crap that's going on. I'll take care of it. Amen. But but you know, my God is bigger. But yet I want to step on out there. I got this God. Let's just let's think about David for a minute. I don't need no slingshot. Get the slingshot. What are you talking about? I mean, think about that. David and Goliath. God, what are you talking about? Man, I'm just going to carry, get the get the armor and the sword and the things that the king is offering me over here. You know, the, the head of the army over here. What if he would have took that stuff? Think about that. And not listen to God. Not let God have his way. It's time that we just fully and completely let God have his way. Let him do what he has to do. It's time that we not just say it, but be doers of the things we are hearing. Be doers of the word and not just hearers of this word. If we're going to let go and let God, let's let the people see us let go and let God. And not only will you begin to be blessed, the hater will begin to be blessed. And things will start to take place. And God's love, God's word will start to manifest, not just in you, but in them. Yeah, amen. Come on. It's all right to wait. We just got but pastor, I'm, I'm just worried. Well, there's something else that we should be doing, hallelujah, other than worrying, hallelujah. It says in, here in Philippians 4, 6 through 7, it, it says, don't be anxious about anything, Come on. Hmm. but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present yourself, your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. He's letting us know you don't have to worry about anything. Amen. See that pride comes and it, it all trickles down and turns into a bunch of stuff. You thought you were just going to be prideful and that be it. Now you're worrying. <laughs> but God says we don't need to do that. We don't have to be anxious. We Instead of worrying, Instead of being prideful, uh, won't you take that pride, hallelujah, take that pride and that worry to your knees, hallelujah, and watch the power of God. Watch what God does with your worry when you take it to him. Watch what God does with your pride when you take it to him. Watch what God does when you're going through the storm, but you begin to just fall on your knees and say, Lord, here I am, take over. Watch what God does when you stop fighting the winds and the waves. He's going to get up and handle business for you. He's going to handle it better than you can handle it. I'm reminded I love uh, when uh, God told the disciples or whatever, he said, we're getting ready to go to the other side. And as they got in the boat and they began to get rowing and going to the other side, we know that Jesus is asleep. Hallelujah. And the disciples, they're uh, fighting the winds and the waves and, and they're just doing what they think they should do. How many of you know that there's a way that we think? Come on. A way that a man think of that can lead him to death. But anyway, they're just fighting. They're just going crazy with this thing. And oh, Jesus is just laying there <laughs> dreaming. He's just laying there sleeping. He's probably laying there watching them through the dream. Like, oh, wow, wow, they're, they're, they're taking their, well, they think they're having them business. Oh, they would just stop. Hallelujah. God says, my child, it's time for you to go to sleep so I can get up. Go to sleep so I can wake up. See, I... God says, heart of worship, I'm getting ready to take y'all somewhere. 
Come on. People, people of God, I'm getting ready to take y'all somewhere. Stop fighting the winds. Stop fighting the waves. Because before I told you to get in the boat, I told you we are going to the other side. I didn't tell you what was going to happen in the middle. I told you I'm taking you. So just get ready to go. God has it all under control. Wait on the Lord. I mean, the disciples was using all their strength. But if they would have took a rest, God could have got up and worked. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants to get up and work for you. Yeah. I don't know, but I love a God that does the work for me. Yeah. Amen. I love a God that does. Lord, forgive me for not letting you work that day. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Some, some of y'all need this. Lord, forgive me for not letting you work this week. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> how, how, how you going to say yes, Lord, and hire God to be in your life and then don't want him to work in your life? Come on. Come on. What would that look like? Hey, hey, Jesus, how you doing? Uh, uh, I'll sign the application to have you in my life and do your job and I'll, I'll follow you and now you're trying to lead Jesus. Oh. You're trying to lead Jesus. That look crazy. It don't look like you're waiting on the Lord. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Some, some, somebody. Amen. Are y'all alive? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It says we should just pray. Pray. Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. Pray about everything. Hallelujah. One thing I know is that, hallelujah, uh, that I'm reminded, I'm, I've been reminded all day about what Prophet has uh, posted. And it's just let the haters hate. Let them tell everybody about you so they can hate. But God is going to be blessing you. Amen. Uh, he's he's going to have the table laid out Come on, in the midst of your enemies. Come on, and they're going to say, Pastor Larry <laughs> just cussed somebody out last week and he gets to eat steak. <laughs> how, how? How? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. But, you know, I, I know, I know brother right there. He's from Heart of Worship and I he was just throwing a fit over there in Walmart because they didn't have his favorite cereal. And <laughs> but he gets to sit at the table in the midst of his enemies. Oh. And they're looking in the window. Oh, like how in the world do they get to be here after I they, I saw them mess up? Mm -hmm. God says you're going to be blessed up through your mess up. Come on, hallelujah. Oh, if you receive that, you're going to be blessed up through your mess up. Come on, hallelujah. And don't, and, 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 and you know, it's like the prayer of Jabez when he's praying for God to expand his territory. Don't forget where you come from, hallelujah. Make sure you pray that God protects your hand from causing evil and pain, hallelujah, because you're going to get a good blessing, hallelujah. And you're going to be inviting some of those same enemies to eat them good baked potatoes that stay Hallelujah. You're going to invite them to the table. Hallelujah. But oh, when they get a taste of Jesus. When they get a taste of Jesus. Woo. I'm telling you, my mom makes some mean macaroni and cheese, but it doesn't taste better than Jesus. Come on. When they get a taste of Jesus. When they get a taste of the Lord. Then they'll see. Wow, that's I can't believe they can mess up and get blessed up like that. That don't mean keep messing up. That don't mean that. But watch what God does. Hallelujah. Lastly, anger. Uh, anger. You know, we got pride and we got worry. Now we got anger. Anger is another thing that causes us not to wait on God. I'm reminded of how we have a saying, I might not get it all the way right here, but Mark Twain, hallelujah, he, he, he did a quote, and it was, uh, I might mess it up, but anyway, it was, anger causes more damage to the vessel that it is stored in than it does to those that it is poured in. Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. Come on. Good. Good. What have you been harboring inside of you? Before you even get a chance to dump it on somebody else, it's going to do some mess to you. Woo! I don't, I don't know if you're catching that, but anger causes more damage to the vessel it is stored in than it does to the people it is poured in. 
in so or poured on. So true. Think about that. So next time before you get angry and or while you're angry, and you're, oh, I'm going to tear them apart. Look at what it's really doing to you. It's tearing you apart. It's messing you up. Not just spiritually, but physically. It's jacking you all the way up. Amen. Man. And when I, when I got to see that quote, I was like, whoa. That is crazy. That is, that's like, wow. I'm trying to hurt them, but I'm already hurt. <laughs> Think about it. Why do we get angry? We got hurt first. Right. We're hurting. Yeah. It, it's still, maybe that ooh, somebody <laughs> just stepped on your pride. Oh. Now you're just worried, and now your anger, your anger's building up because you're just hurting. I was hurting people. I was hurting out there. Mm. I, I, it was a hurt. Hallelujah! It was, and sometimes, and sometimes it hurts even worse when it's somebody you love. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, I, I, I hope this never happens to any of us, so we do that. But, you know, a lot of crimes and murders and things that happen is because it was out of passion. Yeah. Love. love. Yeah. You loved them so much and couldn't believe they did what they did to you and you just went crazy. Uh -huh. Some of these people go crazy. Yeah. How can I love them like that? And this happens to me. Hmm. Hmm. But if we would have gave the anger and the worry and the pride to God and just waited. Amen. Amen. God would have showed up on time. But I'm telling you, we, we, we as people, we have a heart. I think we as Christians, I just got to say that, we as believers of God have a hard time waiting on him. But when we were out there in the streets, Amen. we could wait all day yeah. on anything and everything we want. We could wait on that next fix from the drug. We could wait on that next hit from the pipe. We could wait on that woman. We could wait on that man or the next woman or the next man. We could wait on it all. We could wait on that next dollar bill. Come on. But it's like we cross over to this side. We get impatient. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. But anger yeah. is another reason why we can't wait. And, it's, and you become, hallelujah, you become the first victim to it. You become the first victim to your anger. Yeah. I just want you to think about, hallelujah, the word anger. Think about that. And then, then think about the pride that, you know, that comes before the fall. Now you just got this pride and you're so angry because you are who you are. You've You've been in the business for 20 years. People are stepping all over you. Hallelujah. They're messing you up and you're just getting angry. And, and again, you're the first victim. It messes you up first. Just put a D on the front of the word anger. Come on. Come on. Put a D on the front of that word. Danger. Danger. It, it, I believe that's God speaking to us right when it happens. Ooh, danger, 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 danger. It, it, it's a thing that goes off like spider senses. Uh, like Spider-Man, if you will. You, you get ready. I'm, I'm about to get it. Danger, danger. It, it's not just going to hurt them, but it's going to hurt you. And, and in the process, it hurts your family. Imagine just getting so angry and torn all up inside and now you're laying in the hospital and your husband or your wife is just like, this is costing me everything. Amen. And you probably didn't even get to the person, the thing or whatever that you wanted to, you know, spill out on. It just spill all on you. Physically going through. And not only that, you're dragging your family through as well. Hallelujah. Any of you been angry this week? <laughs> When you think yeah. about that word and you know you're getting ready to whoo, get, get the handling business, add a D to it. Wow. It'll, speak, it'll speak to you. Mm -hmm. Danger. Oh, I got I to gotta stop. Hallelujah. The word of God here in Ephesians 4, 26, 27 says, be angry and do not sin. 
Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Amen. I'm here to tell you, saints, that I was angry. And I admit, I, I, I believe I sinned. I believe I let God down. I believe I let his people down mm -hmm. in that moment. Hallelujah. But thank God for forgiveness. Come on, thank God for forgiveness. Thank God for picking us up when we fall. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Can somebody say thank God? Thank God. Hallelujah. Again, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. God is saying to you, saints, kick the devil out of business. Kick Satan out of business. Hallelujah, because he's he's walking up to your place of business. Hallelujah, your temple of God, if you will. He's knocking. He says, I need a job. Well, we know that Satan's job is nothing more to come to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to rip the joy right out of you. And that's what he'll do when he uses pride. That's what he'll do when he drops worry in your heart. That's what he'll do when he calls you to get angry. Hallelujah, he'll rip the joy right out of you. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy Satan, you gotta go. It's time that you leave. You can no longer work here in my life anymore. Hallelujah. There is no room for you. Hallelujah. This place is getting cleaned up and you're getting kicked out right now in the name of Jesus. You gotta go and you can't return. And I'm letting you know as soon as your place gets clean, they're gonna be peeking through the window again. He's gonna bring seven more. Hallelujah. And be like, man, Larry's place is clean. Let's go tear it up. But you got to know that you got a God, hallelujah, that is stronger than Satan, hallelujah. You got a God that's bigger than your pride, bigger than your worry, bigger than your angry, and get ready to shut Satan down. That's all anger does. Anger gives Satan a place to work. It gives Satan a place to work. It gives Satan a place to set up a shop. Oh, man, he's angry. Ooh, we can get a lot of things come from this. Oh, I can make some money off of this. And, and he can, but he's going to cause death. It's going to cause death off of it. It's time to kick Satan out of business. It's all right to be angry. I, I, know, I know Jesus, man. He, he went through and flipped over a couple tables. Hey, if you if you don't want the people in the world to see you and, and you're angry, just flip some tables over in your house. It, it'll be. Come on, your wife or your your husband might be mad, but man, we we can replace the table. We can't replace you. Yeah. Come on, we can replace that table. We we can't replace you. But try your hardest to be angry and sin not. And, and part of that is just waiting. Can you say, wait on the Lord? Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, mm. 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 Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, take a look at this picture. Just look at that. Ooh. Choices made in anger cannot be undone. Freaking bird came through and took his dog bone. Uh, <laughs> 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 I mean, it, it sounds funny, but the results are not funny. No, no, no. That's what it's like. Yep. That's what it's like. Scared. That's what it's like. I mean, I can see myself. One punch to that guy's face would have probably had me a couple months, I don't know, weeks, a couple months locked up. You know, preaching to the prisoners. <laughs> um, I still got the platform. But I got I got to It had me locked up away from my family. You know, hopefully my wife will wait on the Lord and me. <laughs> Saying. But, but, but look at that. Choices made in anger cannot be undone. There is no turn back for this dog. No. Not unless he can fly. But if he would have waited on the Lord, if he would have waited on the Lord, he would have renewed his strength. He would have had the wings of an eagle. He probably could have caught the bird. Amen. I'm just, just throwing it out there. But 
And, and the bird's probably laughing like, huh? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm taking this bone back to my family. And then I'm coming down there and getting the rest of yours. And we're going we're gonna to feast. Hallelujah. It's, it's time that we feast on the things of the Lord and not let the enemy feast on us. Amen. That's what he's doing. Amen. Feast on the things of the Lord and don't let the enemy feast on you. Hallelujah. In Proverbs 14 and 17, you know, it lets us know that a short-tempered person, you know, will do foolish things. Dog got a short temper. And I don't know about you, but I don't know if any of you got dogs, but if you try to put your hand close to the dog bowl while they're eating. First of all, pride is that this is my bowl. I don't care if you filled it up. It's mine. <laughs> Second of all, he sees the hand, so he's worried that you're going to take it. And third, anger. And I, I hear that one time, I'm like, okay, man, I won't touch your kibbles and bits. I'm cool. <laughs> I, don't, man, I don't like them anyway. You know? But come on. It, it, it doesn't take much. But it'll cause us to do foolish things. This is so foolish. Mm. God wants you to be able to man he said he wants you to be able to stay and come to the cliff you know this is let's, let's just let's just take this and redo it here we go we got Satan and he made you mad but because of some things he did to you and now you're trying to go crazy but before he got you there he brought you there and said look at all this I can give this to you if you Whoa. Come on now. look at all this I can give it to you if you just go and switch sides but then, then you, you're not switching. So you're like, no, I, I think God is God has something better. But then God, Satan starts picking on you. Satan starts sending people to mess with you. But you're still at the cliff. Mm, that's good. You're still at the cliff. Mm -hmm. Now he, he pecks you in the head a couple times, and you're like, oh, and you, <laughs> you jump. He came to kill, steal, and destroy. He never was going to give it to you. He wanted you to fall into it and just die. Amen. That's good. That's good. He never was going to give it to you. That's good. He wanted you to fall to your death. Come on. Hallelujah. But I know a God. Come on. Say thank God. Thank say God. thank you, Lord, that we as people, when we fall, hallelujah, we don't fall to our death when we give it over to you. We fall into your hands. Come on. Yeah. Come on. We fall into your hands. It's, it's all right. A man falls seven times, but God will lift you up. Hallelujah. So listen, when you when you know you're going through, when you know Satan is doing what he's doing, just let go and let God fall into the hands of God, people. It's time that we fall into the hands because Satan is doing nothing but trying to get us in his hands through pride, through worry, through anger. Amen. And then he just lets you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Lastly, we're going back to the first scripture. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. God says, give it over to me. I'm right here, people. God says, I'll do it. God says, just hang on a little bit longer. He says, I know you've been waiting for a long time now, but he says, all you got to do is have a little bit of endurance. Come on, just keep on pushing. Keep on going. Just wait on me. Hallelujah. Let Satan say what he want to say. Let Satan pick at you. Let Satan do all the foolish things he wants to do for you. Hallelujah. But get ready. He says, get ready, saints of God, to get your wings. Hallelujah. He says, get ready to get your wings. Come on. He says, get ready to run and you will not grow weary. He says, get ready to walk. Get ready, and you shall not faint. Hallelujah. Who's ready for their wings? Hallelujah. Who's ready to mount up with wings? Hallelujah. As eagles. Hallelujah. I'm talking about wings as eagles. Hallelujah. That takes you to new heights. See, you've been used to coasting right here, but God wants to take you higher. Hallelujah. He says, let's go higher. Hallelujah. And I'm going to not only give you the wings of an eagle, I'm going to give you the eyes of an eagle as well. So I'm going to allow you to see. Hallelujah. He's going to keep on trying to get 
beat you, but you're going to glide on through and bam, get out my way, Satan. Hallelujah. You're going to go this way. Hallelujah. You're not in business no more, Satan. Get away from here. Hallelujah. I see you. I see you. Come on. Come on. I see you. Amen. Woo. Come on. I see you. Well, come on. Pride, worry, and anger starts to build up because we can't see. We're blinded. Come on. We're blinded come on. to the things of Satan. We're blinded to his trick, tricks and his schemes. But I'm here to tell you, saints of God, Satan can't do nothing to you unless he get permission. So when he come, he just know, oh, I know you. You, you got permission from my daddy, didn't you? It's not going to work. <laughs> come on. When he comes, just know he had permission. Hallelujah. Just like Job. Hallelujah. Satan had to get permission to mess with him. Hallelujah. You are God's Job, people. You are God's Job. So you already know right now you can, okay, I can get rid of the pride. Oh, I can get rid of the worry. I can get rid of the anger because if it's a test, I'm going to have a testimony when I come out. And if I go through the mess, I'm going to have a message when I come out. Hallelujah. But then you're going to have the haters. Won't you just say, forget God like his wife? You're going to think you're going to be speaking. Do you see what you're going through? I wouldn't dare serve God. Mm. Oh, no. Y'all saw what that dog was doing, right? <laughs> Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Your strength shall be renewed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's coming, heart of worship. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, as I see God all in the place right now. God is already doing a marvelous work. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it's because of it's, it's because of your endurance. Yeah. You're not giving up. Amen. Amen. You're not giving up when people are counting you out. Huh. Hmm. You're just giving in to God. Yes. Come on. Don't Amen. give up. Give in Amen. to God. Amen. Keep the walk. Keep the faith. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Get ready for your wings. I'm here. I'm telling you guys are going to get ready to soar. Soar. Uh, God, God showed me. God just, just off of that. He's shown me uh, this is the perfect nesting area. Amen. <laughs> it's, it's the perfect nesting area. The perfect nesting area. And he says, when you get the people, don't be afraid to kick them out the nest. Ooh. Yeah. Confirmation. Yeah. Yeah. Feed, feed them. Feed, feed them. them. Watch them grow. Yeah. Yeah. As, much, as much as that pride kicks yeah. in, as much as the pride kicks in, oh, that's my little birdie. Oh. He says, don't be afraid to kick them out the nest and let them take flight. And you yourselves, don't be afraid to swoop down like an eagle and grab them before they hit yeah. if God sends you. Uh, but I'm telling you, when you kick them out, God got them. Amen. God got them. Amen. And there's nothing to be afraid about because you get ready for a season of expansion of territory. Come on. Get ready for a season of expansion of territory. Hallelujah. But to expand, you gotta feed the eagles. You gotta kick them out and yes. let them go. You gotta let them scout the lands as well. Hallelujah. Watch what God does. Don't hold on to what He's giving you because it's all coming back tenfold, a hundredfold, and more. Hallelujah. Watch what God does. Amen. Amen. Lastly, if any of you are dealing with anger, pride, or worry, and I just want you to come stand up front. Hallelujah. If you've dealt with it this week, hallelujah, as I have, you can come stand up front. Just, I mean, we got some room right there. We got enough room. Amen. There's enough room for God to do his work. Hallelujah. Any of us. I'm already up here, so I'm standing here. I'm first because this, this is hitting home for me. Hallelujah, God. I just wants you to come up front if you're dealing with that. And hallelujah. If you felt like you've fallen down and you just don't know how to get up, hallelujah, just come up front. And are you are you up too? Are you are you helping? <laughs> We're up here. Oh, amen. Amen. 
All right. Well, I mean, if it's just you preaching, that's fine. Some of us, some of us scared to say, say uh, I'm up here too. Yeah, it's pride. Yeah, I'm already up here. But if you dealt with that this week, just come on up. Um, hallelujah. And as you get uh, anointed, I want you to come close. I, I gotta use this mirror. Hallelujah. So uh, we will we'll start a line, if you will, behind Mama Deborah right here, because I have to do this one at a time, because God wants to speak to you through it. Hallelujah. Something I learned from our pastor. Hallelujah. Back home. But as you just look in the mirror, Mother Deborah, uh, this is what God looks like when he's been hurting, <laughs> when the pride kicked in. When the worry kicked in, when the anger kicked in, but this is what it looks like when he knows it's okay. I can just fall into the hands of God. See, people think I'm falling, but I'm falling into the hands of God. I think we're going to pray for all of you. Come on, up, brother. What's your name? Pastor T. Pastor T? All right, Pastor T, this is what Jesus looks like when he's hurting, when he feels the pain. Hallelujah. When the, that pride kicks in, when that worry kicks in, and that anger builds up, but he knows everybody's watching him. I'm Pastor T. I'm, I got to be better than this. I'm Pastor T. They're waiting for my downfall, but this is what Jesus looks like when your downfall becomes a fall into the hands of God. When you just let go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. What's your name? Pastor Carrie. Pastor Carrie. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Carrie, this is what Jesus looks like. When his children are getting on his nerves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it's when he don't know what else to do, when the anger, the pride, and the worry kicks in, <laughs> this is what Jesus looks like when everybody's waiting for Pastor Carrie, right? Mm -hmm. Down when they're waiting for Pastor Carrie's downfall, mm -hmm. but you just let go and let God fall into the hands of God. Hallelujah. He could move over. Hallelujah. Mm, this is what it looks like. Hallelujah. It's okay to let go and let God. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany. Brittany, this is what Jesus looks like. Hmm. When the depression kicks in. Mm. Amen. Mm. Mm. This is what Jesus looks like. When you, when he feels no one cares about him, this is what Jesus looks like when they counted Brittany out. Mm. This is what Jesus looks like when so many people didn't care that I came to the notion that I won't even care for myself. This is what Jesus looks like when the pride and anger kicks in. When the worry kicks in, where am I going to get my next this? Where am I going to get my next that? Am I really loved? Will I really be who you called me to be? Mm. This is what Jesus looks like when he lets go. This is what Jesus looks like when he lets go. He said, Brittany, get ready to fall into the arms of God. Get ready to fall, hallelujah. 
He said, let go, Brittany, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, every care, every worry, let it go right now and let me work it out for you right now in the name of Jesus, let go and let God right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, let his spirit take over right now in Jesus' name, hallelujah, he says, Brittany, you've done nothing but fallen into my hands right now in the name of Jesus. He says, hallelujah, you will be renewed, restored right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey! You will be renewed and restored. Hallelujah. Mm. Woo! He says, Brittany, get ready to have it going on in me. Get ready to have, be having it going on in the spirit. Get ready, hallelujah. Every place that your feet touch, you will leave a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Pastor Larry. Hallelujah. This is what Jesus looks like. Hey, hallelujah. He says, Pastor, this is what Jesus looks like when he felt like he could do all he could do. Hallelujah. He says, this is what Jesus looks like, hallelujah, when he's done all he could do. Hallelujah. God says, Pastor, just stand. Just stand. Let me be the way maker. Let me be the miracle worker. He said, this is what I look like when the pride and the anger kicks in and, and I begin to worry. But I know I have a father that I can let go in. I know that I have a father that I can release in. I know that I have a father that I can fall into his arms and he will catch me. Hallelujah. A father that will never leave or forsake me. He says, Larry, hmm. I don't know if you know, but. I've been sitting on the windowsill by the bed. I've been watching you. You may not think you got it going on, but let me tell you the angels are rejoicing. You said you got, you got some family that's rejoicing. You said you got some people that depend on you to not give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. He says, get your eyes off any and every church in the city of Bay. Mm. Thank you, God. The heart of worship is the head and not the tail. Oh, You're above and not beneath. Oh, mm. You are allowed to go slow. Mm. The rabbit's legs are going to fail out. He says, watch what I do with the turtle. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Watch what I do with the turtle. They've been sleeping on the turtle. They've been sleeping on the turtle. Hallelujah. And the race isn't given to the swift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, in fact, Larry, you don't know it and can't see it, but you have laughed them many times. Mm. Mm. You've already laughed them. He says, just rest in me. Rest in me. Rest in me. Fall into my arms. He says, get ready to soar. And not only do you need to receive the wings, but get ready for the eyes of an eagle. Get ready for the eyes of the eagle. Hallelujah. A lot of us, he says, I love it when he speaks to me with the animals. He says, this is what it looks like when the eagle swoops down and saves the mice from the buzzards. Not to eat the mice, but this is what Jesus looks like. And the eagle looks like, hallelujah, when he just swoops down, hallelujah, 
and saves the mice, hallelujah, from the buzzards, hallelujah. You got a lot of mice getting ready to come, hallelujah. A lot of mice getting ready to come, hallelujah, and take over and invade the space, but it's because they heard of the ego that's inside of you, hallelujah, and you just need to receive them, hallelujah. Some of us think mice are destructive, hallelujah, but oh, yes, get ready to watch them knock down the walls of these Jerichos that people have put up, hallelujah, and all you got to do is teach them. All you got to do is feed them, hallelujah, everything they need, hallelujah. He says, Larry, get ready to soar. You got room for them. You got room for them. Amen. Mm. God's getting ready to do a mighty work. Mm. In the, the eagle's nest here. Hallelujah. Come on. Mm. And you got to have a heart for it. Thanks to the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive him. Receive him. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, my brother. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you guys, but this is me. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. What's your name? Joe. Joe. Well, Joe. I don't know about you, but I see Jesus. Mm. Did y'all catch that? Y'all didn't catch that, did you? I didn't know that. I said, I don't know about you, but I see Jesus. Come on. He told me he can't see his face. He can't see your face. Hallelujah. Shirt says all I need is Jesus and he's exactly, exactly all you need to see. Mm. 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 Think about it. He says, Joe, let me in. Let me remove Joe. <laughs> let me remove Joe out of the way. Because <laughs> you've been focused on Joe so long. Hallelujah. I want you to focus on me, the Heavenly Father. Hallelujah, the one and only true God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So long you have been trying to fall into your own hands. So long you have been trying to catch yourself. But he says, just fall into my hands. Fall into the hands of God. Hallelujah. He says, just fall into my hands. Hallelujah. Let go and let me have you, Joe. Hallelujah. I want to give you me. I want to give you me. I want you to have me, Joe. Hallelujah. I want you to have me, Joe, because when you get out there in the world and Satan and all his imps and all his tricks can kill Joe, but nothing can take me. I lay it down. I said, Joe, I want you to have me. Because when you get ready to go to places I'm about to send you, hallelujah, they have to see me. Thank you, Joe is going places Joe ain't allowed to go. Joe is going places Saint don't want him to go. But when you step in, they will not recognize Joe just that she couldn't see your face. They will recognize Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Everything we do here is about Jesus. It's not yes. about Pastor Aaron. It's not about Pastor Melinda, Mama, Dad, Pastor Larry. It's not about the pastors here. Hallelujah. It's about Jesus, Lord. Fill me up. Thank you, Thank you for the fill up, Lord, for your people. Lord, fill Joe up right now in the name of Jesus from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Hallelujah. From the inside out right now in the name of Jesus. Mm, do a miracle right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. And, mm, Lord, I have, woo. Joe, I speak healing over you too in the name of Jesus. I speak healing over you too in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God just said speak healing over Joe. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Mm. People are going to think you're kind of funny or weird if they don't already think it. You're going to hear some things and you're going to be able to prophesy. You're going to hear and see some things and get ready to prophesy, Joe. 
It's a scary thing, I'll tell you that right now. I'm scared saying it to you. But it's better to have a fear of God. It's better to be obedient than to sacrifice anything. He says, get ready to speak to God's people. I got some things. <laughs> Where you going? You're gonna they, they when you get to speaking, they're gonna go, oh, that's Jesus, that Joe. Wow. That's Jesus. Amen. Get ready. All you're gonna have to do is say what God said, touch him and walk. <laughs> say what God said, touch him and walk. Don't try to sugarcoat what God don't yeah, don't sugarcoat what he says. Give it, give them the real. God said this, bam, leave. Wow. wow. And they're not gonna say Joe was here, they're gonna say God was here. Yeah. <laughs> we remember God on the night of when God showed up. Oh, yeah, Joe, receive it. Receive it. Mm. It may, may start out little. It may start out funny. It may start out with you acting funny with it. But God will work through it. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm, I'm reminded of it every day, just let it use you. But you got to let go of Joe. Get out of your way. You got to let go of Joe. Yes. You gotta let go of Joe. Come on. <laughs> Why did God do that? Anybody watch G.I. Joe? <laughs> Say, go, let go of Joe and become a G.I. Joe. God ignited Joe. The God ignited Joe. Hallelujah. It's gonna be God. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyone else? Oh, yes, sister, sister. <laughs> yes, come on. I don't, hey, you're running from God, not me. Man. That's what I see. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. This is what God looks like, remember? After a hard days of work, watching over his people. This is what God looks like. When it seems like it's never enough. This is what God looks like when He loves His people, but they don't seem to love back. This is what God looks like, Amber, when the pride and the worry kicks in. This is what God looks like when the pain and anger kicks in because I've done so much, but got so little. This is what it looks like when he falls, hallelujah, into the hands of God. When he falls into the hands of the Father, and you know when you feel that. I'm so little, but God does so much. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you right now for Amber right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As hands are placed on her right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to rejuvenate her right now. Renew her mind right now. Revive her right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We ask that she be set free right now. All chains be broken right now. Unequally yoked with the world right now. The yoke is released right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for victory in her life right now. Thank you, Lord, for setting her free right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every vision that he has given you shall come to pass, he says. Let go and let me work it. I gave you the vision. I brought you to it. I am going to get you through it. Hallelujah. That's what he says right now in the name of Jesus. He says, this was what I look like when I just lay and let my God work. When I lay and let my God work. Mm. 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 My God. Mm, boy. Mm, he says, some of us just got to lay like this on the surgery table of God. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't be afraid of the spiritual scaffolding. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. 
Alleluia. He says, don't be afraid, hallelujah, of the microscope. Mm. Mm, hallelujah. Not the microscope of the world. Not the microscope people put you under, hallelujah, but I am watching you. I know every downfall. I, I know everything. I know every inch. I, I know the hairs on your head, so I know. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. It's Pastor Carrie, right? Mm -hmm. Come on now. You and Carrie, Pastor Belinda and Carrie here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, just hold her hands. Hold her hands. Hallelujah. Hold her hands. Hallelujah. As she releases. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hold her hands as she releases. And he says, in the spirit, just begin to speak into her life. Speak into her life. Hallelujah. It says, in the spirit, just begin to speak into her life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, no condemnation. Hallelujah. No condemnation whatsoever. You are forgiven. It is us who don't forgive ourselves. We are our biggest critic. Hallelujah. He says, but I am the only judge. Hallelujah. How can you judge above the judge? Hallelujah. Who are you to cast the first stone at yourself? Mm. Remove the stones, hallelujah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, right now from the inside out, right now in the name of Jesus, remove the stones right now in Jesus' name, hallelujah, right now, mm. hallelujah. God says, I'm using the David within you to knock out the giant in your life, and it starts with you. Hallelujah. Everything, hallelujah, that I have given you is more than enough. Hallelujah. Five stones and a slingshot. Hallelujah. It might look stupid to some people, but that is the tool that I've given you to conquer the world. Hallelujah. To move the mountains. You know what that is, Amber. Hallelujah. Mm, yes, Lord. Mm, yes, Lord. So long you have. Mm, so long you have. So long you have <laughs> spoke down on yourself. Come on. So long you have spoke down on yourself because you're worried and you're wondering why I, I should move these mountains. I should be able to do this for my children, for my, my husband, for our lives. But he says, let go and let me do it. Hallelujah. Once you realize that I am the mountain mover, hallelujah. Once you realize, hallelujah, that I will tear down those walls, hallelujah, you will begin to get ready to run through. Hallelujah. He says, no weapon formed against you right now shall prosper. Hallelujah. Not even the weapons you bring upon yourself. Hallelujah. They are gone, dismissed in the name of Jesus, set free in the name of Jesus. An eagle is being born right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to begin to see a lot of things that your husband doesn't even recognize or see right now in the name of Jesus. And brother, we know you are the head of the family, but oh, when the wife speaks, just listen to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Favor. Favor and brother, you already got it, but watch what God does. Woo, with both of y'all because of you're listening to the favor. Amen. Favor. Amen. 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 Receive the new and let go of the old. Exhale, hallelujah, every old thing. Inhale the new. Come on, inhale the new right now. A new wineskin right now in the name of Jesus. Watch God work. Yeah, when I was holding her hand, I felt so much pain. Release. Yes. She just has to forgive herself. And it's done. Yes. Hallelujah. Says you are not a failure. Mm. Amen. Amen. 
You are not a failure. None of us. You are not a failure. Mm. Wonderful and fearfully made. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Amber Lewis. This is what God looks like. Hallelujah. Come on. He's not done with you. He said, This is what God looks like when He's loved by many. Loved by many. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will get to see and hear your name in lights. Amen. He says, but all you need to say is Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He's given you the great foundation. But don't forget who you're cornerstone is and your capstone is. Amen. Hallelujah. Name and lights, whatever that looks like. Amber Lewis. Mm -hmm. Helping the souls of young women get set free. Amen. He says, don't forget the vision. Don't forget the vision. Satan will set up hurdles. But you can do all things through Christ who gives you this strength. Get ready to jump hurdles. Amen. Mm, get ready. Mm. Like in Ezekiel, get ready to go deep. Ooh, Satan's got to go deep. Don't deep. Forget. 